Hi guys, so my name is Eki and I have something very interesting to share to you guys this afternoon. I don't know if it would be interesting to you, but it was very interesting to me when it came through. Basically, it is about my story that I found, well not a story, something that happened like an incident, but um, I got inspired on how actually this could help me with my life. And I think it would help a lot of us out there that are Christians or might be backsliding or might be feeling lukewarm about your relationship with God. So in my case, I woke up at 3 a.m. in the afternoon, no, 3 a.m. in the morning and I did not find my phone. First thing first, I was like, oh my God, where's my phone? So I stretched my hands forth and I tried to reach my charger. My charger was not there anymore because if my charger was there, I'd be able to like get the phone like when I dragged the wire i would be able to get rich my phone but the charger wasn't there at this time so i was just like oh my god Masse, my sister she took my charger first thing i went to her room started shouting why did you take my charger she was up at 3 a.m i don't know what she was doing but yeah she was up anyway so i could tell her off for taking my charger and then i was like really tired i just wanted to go back to sleep and then maybe later on in the morning i would look for the phone but deep in my heart i was just like maybe i'd miss a lot of messages or you know so i decided to look for the phone as i just got off my bed i noticed that my house phone was right on my bedside table so i picked my house phone up thankfully to god i called the phone and my phone was not on silent it was vibrating and um, it was vibrating so i could feel i could hear where it was where it was coming from so i went under my bed i have a lot of things under the bed i have my shoes i have bags i have baskets and i have boxes of things that i don't know what i've got loads of things under my bed but yeah and this phone was in one of the boxes in a box so the box was already in a box and it wasn't in that box so it's so like it was vibrating at least now i had an assurance that my phone was under my bed it was somewhere but i just had to look for it so i kept looking and i finally started to see the light of the phone and i kept searching again and i found my phone what i've got to share about this little incident is that in our lives when we lose connection with god when we lose that connection, like that cable that connects us with God, let's not lose up. Let's not blame people for taking the connection away. Let's not blame people for taking our time that we should be spending with God. Let's not blame the people around us that, oh, I started to spend more time with you and I'm losing relationship with God. Let's not blame the thing that we are doing. Let's also focus and learn to you know get back to, uh, on track you know let's get back on track and learn to avoid things that will take us away from god rather than taking your time and wasting time blaming people and wasting time regretting and you know get back on track instead you know start looking for god start searching for him immediately and when you feel like you want to give up or you feel like oh let me leave it till tomorrow like i thought I was going to leave my phone till next time. It's fine. God is going to be there. But tomorrow might be too late. It might be tomorrow that he would come. Or you might lose a lot of blessings. He might want to use you right now. But you're leaving it till later. You need to start to search back for the Lord right, right away. So if you start looking for him, don't give up. Even if you still feel like you're not there yet. But start looking for him. And he, Jesus said, God said, when you call upon me. I would answer he said if you search for me with all your heart i will answer you so if you start looking for god he will start showing himself to you if you don't look for him you wouldn't find him like if i had chosen to go back to bed and not look for the phone there was no way the phone was going to come up to me from where it was there's absolutely no way if someone had rang me called me messaged me to come and collect millions of pounds i probably would not be able to do it because i would be fast asleep and nothing would wake me up for myself because i am like that but yeah apart from that when god needs you to get your blessings when he wants you when he wants to call you and you're not there you're not searching you've lost him you've lost that relationship there is absolutely no way that you would be able to hear him there's no way that you'd be able to listen to him and there's no way you'd be able to get that blessing either but if you take your time out once you notice that that relationship with god is gone and you take the time to actually go back to him 
then all the blessings will come. So after this whole thing, after the whole thing, the Bible verse that came to me, it's not this one I'm going to read to you. It's a different one and I haven't really checked. But I would put the link um, below this video to the the article or the blog that I wrote about this thing um, and the, the Bible verses on there. But um, something very similar, but the one that came to me was in the New Testament. is in the New Testament. But this one is from the Old Testament in it, Deuteronomy chapter Four, verse 29 it says but if from thence thou shalt seek the lord thy god thou shalt find him if thou seek him with all thy heart and with all thy soul you have to seek with all your heart and all thy soul and this was what i did when i was looking for my phone i was determined to find the phone because already i could hear it vibrating and i started to think oh what if the battery dies and this phone goes completely off i might never be able to find it again because really where it was if i didn't find it at that time i probably would have lost it forever and that's the same thing with our relationships relationships as well if we do not take actions quickly we might lose it our relationships with god might die our faith may they it's it could just disappear so immediately whenever you find yourself fainting and failing and wavering and you're not there anymore if you feel like you've been disconnected from that plug you need to get back you literally you need to jump back in action and find your way back to christ that's the little thing I have to share for you guys this afternoon. I hope it makes sense as it does to me. And I hope it does help you in your Christian race, in your relationship with God. And I pray that God will be able to give you the heart to actually search for him with all your heart. And he gives you the grace and the strength to do it, like search for him properly. Because sometimes when we are actually looking for God, when we're searching for God, we find difficulties, we find different tribulations that's when situations start coming up and it sometimes could be really really daunting but then just holding on and keep it when you do something with all your heart just no matter what's going on you will keep doing that thing and that's what we should do when we're searching for god let's try and focus on him and he will help us all right guys that's it all for today i will see you guys soon do take care stay blessed and god is your strength bye